Hello. Class of cannabis. It's been a glorious year. I want someone in here to stand to their feet and tell me their best way to smoke. Who will it be? Would you write here? What's your name, girl? Not him. It don't really matter when we all agree. What's your best way to smoke? Cause I'm rolling, I'm rolling, I'm rolling, I'm rolling, I'm rolling. Are you smoking with Big J? Serpo Jr. This is the Best Way to Smoke podcast. And we got a special guest um, in the building. A Best Way to Smoke family member and a family member at that too. Tank, you know, from the Nolia chapter. Did I say it right, bro? Uh, N-O-E Tank. That yes, Nolia sir. Tank. Yep, yep. So uh, what we wanted to we wanted to just, you know, shoot the shit, talk about a bunch of different things and stuff, though. But... What we really want to know about is like um, Hurricane Ida, because we know you right there, you know, right knee deep in it. Like, how did it? Um, I know, you know, from seeing stuff on the news, because we in California, though, but from seeing the stuff in the news, it seemed right. like that shit came in like super, super, super fucked up. You know what I mean? Yeah, hard, Jay. You know, uh, man, Ida was something serious, man. It came in category four, you know. And uh, we got pretty much got the eye of it. So we got a lot of the wind, you know what I'm saying? It came and tore up New Orleans, man. Power out the whole city, you know what I'm saying? Went east, even all, all the way up to New York, you know what I'm saying? But it was a, it was a pretty strong hurricane, yeah. Yeah, my, my little brother, he in New Jersey, and he was telling me that it hit up there. Like, it hit up there something crazy, too. A lot of people lost their homes and stuff up there. And... um. Yeah. So and and just like thinking about like New Jersey getting the ass end of it, so like New Orleans got the the beginning of the the whole force of it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that hey, that's. So you, huh? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, Jay, no, you got it. You got it. I was like on Grand. I was like you know uh, more more toward the the southern part of of the state. You know what I'm saying? It got wiped out, totally flooded. You know what I'm saying? But we got, we didn't get the flood. We got the wind, you know, and it was so strong to where it really came through here and just tore stuff up, tore stuff up. And it was like uh, tornado warnings, you know, the same things you're seeing on the news, but man, seeing that firsthand, like, again, I didn't stay myself, I left, you know, but when I got, right. you know, the things I did witness, you know what I'm saying? That's what I kind of, I kind of like, I have a, a, a more deeper love for my people, you know? From what I've seen, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, I can, I, yeah, man, I can, I can, I can only imagine because out here we deal with like the the earthquakes and stuff like that. We get the tremors. We ain't really had no big earthquakes since what, like, like the early '90s since um well, the North. Well, speaking right? about them earthquakes, though, yeah, them earthquakes, though. I think like uh, a year or two ago, maybe two, the 2019, the Fourth of July. It rocked my little city up here because I live in Ridgecrest. You right. know what I'm saying? It, it rocked right. the whole little city. It knocked it knocked like the, the, the ceiling out of the little movie theater we got. A mm -hmm. lot of little grocery stores and all that old good stuff. You know what I'm saying? All mm -hmm. that little canned goods and all that shit was over the flow. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. My house. Only thing that stood up in my house is a lot of the shit that's mounted to the walls. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everything else, you know what I'm saying? Shit was throughout the cabinets, out the drawers and shit like that. We had that up here. Yeah, man, it's the, you know, it's, 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 it's the same thing, but it's a little different because y'all have earthquakes. We have hurricanes, but it's still a disaster, you a know disaster. what I'm saying? Yeah. People suffer, people die, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's yes. just like, we, the, the, the thing to get out there is, is, is being prepared. The preparedness is what we yeah. want to express on that, you know, because we can't control yeah. it. It's going to happen in whatever region we're in, we're going to go through something with it, you know? Feel yeah. me? So but how do? We, huh? No, go ahead. No, finish your thought. Yeah, but I was just saying, like, if we prepare ourselves, then we can probably come out there, you know, ninety-eight percent more better than we would, would, you know, unexpected. How it be, you know, people be underestimating these these natural yeah. disasters and stuff like right. that, though. Yeah. So do yeah. they like 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 do they give like do they pre-warn that the hurricane is on its way so people can evacuate and stuff like that? Of course, absolutely. You know, yeah. they do their job. The forecasters and the news people, they do their job. You know, they, yeah. they express the same thing, but some of us, we hard-headed. We, you know, we, we underestimated, Jay. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We underestimated, man. Yeah. And then, 
turns out to be something that we wish we wouldn't dealt with. You know what I'm talking about? People yeah. 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 We have, you know, these catastrophes, bro. Feel yeah, because I, I, I know. Feel. Yeah, because I know with Katrina, from what we heard, like FEMA was supposed to be helping out with the, you know, with um with the rebuild and stuff like that. But it was so much bullshit that that was heard behind like FEMA not really like helping um black people and stuff like that. And um, so with, with Hurricane Ida, is that the same kind of deal? Like is FEMA coming in trying to help and stuff like that or supposed to be helping? Yeah, actually yesterday they was here, bro. They was here, the, the uh, president was here, FEMA was here, you know, from what, it, what you know, from my own dealings with FEMA, Man, they on they on point too. You know what I'm saying? They oh, okay. actually they dealing with people's needs. You know what okay, I'm saying? Yeah, it to people real quickly. That's what I'm saying. Things are not moving in a in a pace as as Katrina did. Well, people had to suffer along the way. You know, as soon as right. they stopped the mayor, the mayor she was on her job, bro. She was making it happen. You know, I appreciate that. And that's a yeah, that's that's definitely a blessing right there. That. That it came so fast and 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 maybe they just had a from from what happened with Katrina, that was like a warning of if so if another hurricane happened that's that major, you know, on a major level on what to do and how to get the aid in faster and stuff like that. Cause it's definitely exactly. important. Yeah, it's definitely important. So I got I got a question another question as far as like with the, you know, with New Orleans being a, a hurricane area. So do like do like people houses be on like 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 raised up, leveled up, just in case of floods and stuff like that? Absolutely. Yeah, the yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, they raise their homes up. You know, yeah. and like you said, a lot of these areas is their houses survive, but they still have to go through it every year if they choose to stay here. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Still something that you're gonna have to deal with every year. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's that's you taking the initiative to to try to uh, evade certain little disasters, uh, 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 little situations, but you're still dealing with it. Either still way, still gotta deal with it. Yeah, it's, it's all, I mean, hey, you know, that's just how I feel. My opinion, Jay, but the preparedness is, is on point. Yeah. So. Yep. Yep. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely gotta be gotta be ready and stuff. And I, and that was a good move that y'all was able to just get up out of there. You know what I mean? Just in case something came through too, you know what I mean? That 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 was good to be able to just to just go, get away from the danger. Yeah, but some people not able to do that though, Jay. You yeah. Know? yeah, that's a fact, that's a fact. Yeah, that's a talk. fact, man. Yeah, that's, that, that, yeah. that, um. I want, it's not to cut you off, Jay, but that's, that's the part I wanted to emphasize on because for the ones that did stay behind, you know, and I came right back like two days later, you feel me, Jay? And with yeah. us, the people, man, it, it kind of touched me, man, because every you know it had the looting going on. That's to be expected, but right. you know, the overall picture I seen was the the love and, and the unity the people showed each other. You feel me? Most definitely, that's, most that's, definitely. Yeah, when, I, you know that's it's showing, uh, giving me hope. You feel me? It's showing me that yeah. thing. From listening to you yeah. talk, you know what I'm saying? That's that, just real quick. Just listen to you talk. <clears throat> Me, I like I like the the community aspect of certain things of people that can stick together through hard times or whatever it may be. Because those when the times when you know, like if you have a community or if it's just every man for itself still. You know right. what I'm saying? And me, like watching from how it was from Katrina, from Katrina, it was like kind of crazy. You know what I'm saying? It, like like as you say, probably like crazy. unexpected in that like like extent. You know what I'm saying? And now that this came, it seemed like, you know what I'm saying, people had experience from back then. It seemed like it wasn't too much of a panic. You know what I'm saying? Because people, it's like, listen to you talk, it's like people came together. You know what I'm saying? A yeah. mom coming together, that gives them time to actually think about something, you know what I'm saying? So we can actually move forward. And like yeah. hearing that right there, that, that that's cool as a people. And that's the, sure. yeah, that's the key word, moving forward. And that's what I seen, right? You know, and that would have helped everything to move a little faster. You feel me? Yeah. yeah that's, that's what's up. That's dope. Yeah, for real, man. Because it's, it's, def it's definitely about, um, uh, definitely about progress and uh, keeping shit moving and stuff like that. So um, when Katrina, when Katrina hit, where was you at? 
Truth be told, I was in the penitentiary. Oh yeah. I had the 15 flat. Big oh, yeah. Yeah. So so yeah. like um, because I mean shit, we all done been through the system. I've been to the pen, <laughs> Serpo been to the pen, you've been to the pen. So it's it's it's, it's sad to say, but it's, it's it's the reality. Most most brothers gonna touch it or see it in some kind of way, you know. But um with that with that being said, like how was it with Katrina going on being in prison and you know how was the aspect of dealing with that shit in there? Well that was that was a hard thing for me even then, you know. That was the even though I wasn't physically home, you know, it still touched my heart. You know so, um, the, the the guys actually evacuated to some of the outskirts of the prisons. Um, you know, I, I got to see some of the homies, you know, people I ain't seen in a long time, you know, and uh you know, I, I, I use that occasion, like, the opportunity, man, to, like, snatch them and shut something good with them. You feel me? Because I yeah. knew they were in me, so I was like, everyone I called, I, I tried to lace them with something good. You feel me? That's and let dope. them go, you know, with some comforting words and, and some uh, trying to, like, guide a little guidance toward their spirituality. You know, Jake? Yeah, I tried for to sure. Do it was good, fam. And for that's sure. how I dealt with it. You know? That's how I dealt with that. Yeah, for sure. Cause I could just imagine like a nigga being being uh you know in prison and, and something like that going on and you thinking about your family, you thinking about you know, that's that shit is that shit is stressful as a motherfucker, especially like you know, phone lines down. You can't call in because you know what I mean. So you're not really knowing what's going on. So I know it it probably was a lot of brothers up in there that was, you know, kind of like stressed out during that time. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Absolutely, you know, but we had little little uh, clubs that, that that came around through the prisons, you know. Uh, Got to keep them spirits they, right. They offered, the they offered their assistance to the prisoners that was from down in New Orleans, you know. And uh, man, we was able to get calls. They kept us straight on the canteen or whatever we needed, you know what I mean, bro? Just to keep us calm. But you know, our people still went through it with in and be mindful. We down in the, we in New Orleans, baby. They got alligators. They got snake. All this is in the water. You feel me? Yeah. I couldn't. I can't even think fathom. about that for now. You feel me? I can't fathom that, man. Man, man. Because look on the news too with oh, the body hurricane. Body. I yeah. Bodies look, floating. It, man. Yeah. No, you said bodies floating and stuff. Yeah. I didn't physically see this, but this is what it was. This is what was going through the streets of the city, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't imagine that. Mm. Yeah, yeah, we just seen it. Yeah, we just seen it all on the news and stuff like that, man. And they was evacuating, you know, the people that was able to make it out, they was evacuating the, to like, you know, Texas to um to different places close and stuff like that, man. And it's right. a trip though, because I can remember when I was going on and it was like people in them other states where, you know, people from, from Louisiana was evacuating to, they was like some some of them states was mad and didn't even want people to come and shit like that. That's yeah. it's crazy. Like you know we we talk about you know humanity and how you know we all supposed to care and and like that. And and when I seen that, I was just kind of like, damn, you know, people going through yeah. shit like this, and all people could think about is I don't want them in my city. You know what I mean? There's a reason for everything, but that wasn't just for no reason. I'm gonna keep yeah. it. Now that is a two-fold of that because when 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 these New Orleans evacuees evacuated to these different places, but remember they had to lost everything. So they yeah. desperate, you understand? Yeah. They hungry, they got yeah. family. You know yeah. what I mean? So, come on, bro. You feel me? You can't I hey, I'm I ain't gonna pass judgment right now, but I'm just saying, you feel me? That oh, was yeah, just for sure. But at the same time, right is right. And and I remember I wasn't a part of that, but you know, from what I what I understand from it, you know, people did show love. You heard me, yeah, but yeah. You know, a little bit or whatever. You know, yeah. I can't but it's, really it's a trip the way the media. But look, like that's 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 the media. The way the media put the shit out there to us and stuff like that. But look, like not to get off the subject. So it was a situation right. that happened out here. You know what I mean? Um, the day before yesterday, a brother got shot with his son. Right. Right. And he was, he was, it's a, it's been a lot of violence going on with um, blacks and Mexicans in Long Beach. Right. You know what I mean? And so 
something that's been going on have been like little young black dudes robbing like the corn mans and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, and it's a lot of them in Long Beach. So this with ABC News, the news reported this and this it wasn't true. The news said biggest day uh, uh, um, a street vendor gets shot and killed in Long Beach. So just, you know, how the radars will just go off to, to you know, to, to the Mexicans and stuff like that to start the ones that's tripping to start tripping and stuff. But it's just a way that the media put it out there. And I just brought that up to say, because when that was happening, they was the ones saying like Atlanta was tripping. People in Atlanta was tripping and people in Texas was tripping because right. um, people from New Orleans was coming there and shit like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, it misleading you, but you know, they misleading you in a sense. And giving you false information, bro. Man, they stay doing that shit to us and stuff, man. And I'm going to just be real. I'm with you, fam. I don't believe everything they say. They contradicted for the last yeah. two years. Everything yep. they say. Yep. That's why I appreciate this little sit down right here because it's coming from somebody that's actually there. You know what I'm saying? And we're not, act, we not getting no, you know what I'm saying, CNN or ABC propaganda. You know, and it's like, it kind of, it like, like it gave me like a sense of relief because I, like, like, cause you, it, it just sticks with me. You know what I'm saying? Our people, you know what I'm saying? They stuck together. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you speak more of like people lending a helping hand more than somebody like trying to be mischievous, even though we know it's there. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. But it's like the emphasis is put on like, you know what I'm saying? A togetherness. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And they not saying this shit on the news. You know nope. what I'm saying? They not putting it in, in that context right there. I'm just speaking for me in my area. That's what I saw. You know, yeah. maybe I got a little blessing. I'm maybe, you know, I'm blessed. But, you know, I, I've seen that. I witnessed that and I appreciate it. You know, I just wanted to share that with y'all too. You feel me? You know, oh, I appreciate sure. the opportunity. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Most, most definitely, man. But like you said, like moving forward, man, we got some good shit going. We got the um, the best way to smoke uh, merch out there in New Orleans. Uh, big bro, he pushing it out there, doing his thing and stuff like. And it was a festival uh, plan, a pop up shop plan for next weekend or something, right? Yeah, 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 definitely. But um, uh, it's been postponed to for a latter date. You know, it's gonna be uh November the thirteenth. So they give that's me enough dope. time to get right. You know what I'm saying? We'll be ready for it, most yep, definitely. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep, that's dope. That's dope, man. So like, like, like. California prisons is, is is a trip, you know what I mean? Because it's a lot of politics, you know what I'm saying? Because you got the you got the Crips, the Bloods, then you got the Mexicans, then you got you know the others and and the Asians and all that kind of stuff. So right. like 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 how's the di the dynamic of the, not getting too deep into the shit though? But I know it's like <laughs> like like now it's like I know it's Crips and Bloods out there now, right? So was it like that before? I mean, not, you, know, you don't really see that. I don't see that too much in New Orleans. But like when I go outside New Orleans to other the cities, like towards the northern cities, yeah, it exists. But you know, I don't really see it too much here in in, in New Orleans like that. Hey, because it seemed like I've when, through, yeah, I've, no, been, I've been through them California jails. Like I was in Wayside. You feel me? I know oh, how yeah. it is with the segregation and all that. I rode through that. I know. Yeah. I and all that too, feel me? Yeah. So, you know how California jails, I, I just never been to the penitentiaries out there, which is pretty much the yeah. same. See, you yeah. went through the county jail, shit, you can, like, you get through the LA county jail, you can survive some of the yards. What it was, 9,500? 9,500, huh, the wayside. Yeah, they, they closing down. <laughs> wayside, uh, they um, sent me to Supermax when they sent me to that motherfucker. Oh, to the Supermax, yeah. Yeah, yeah I've been to the Max too. Max. Uh, Oh, everything. Yeah. But um, one thing though, like talking about speaking about them little prisons and stuff though, like I don't know, it may be different from certain people though. I've been I've been twice, you know what I'm saying? I like I went to the state twice as an adult, you know what I'm saying? But instead of speaking about the bad that's there, the thing that I actually can't appreciate about that time, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like all you have is the time. You know what I'm saying? I enlighten a whole lot of stuff, you know what I'm saying, as far as like research and read and this that and the other it'll it, it it woke something up you know what i'm saying i already had like the street aspect of certain things you know what i'm right, saying and then it's right, like it just sure. it, it gave me time 
you know what I'm saying? I wanted to do certain history, you know what I'm saying? Like like the the, the cars we a part of, they were like, shit, nigga, back then, you had to do this, that, and that, which consists of learning something, you know what I'm saying? Gaining a skill. Like, you have to, like, yeah. do something productive, work out, you know what I'm saying? Keep yourself physically and mentally sharp, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's like, I brought that shit home with me. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And it's like that, if I can say, you know what I'm saying, it helped me rehabilitate in that aspect. You know what I'm saying? Versus all the other little pettiness, because it's a whole lot of petty that going, shit yeah, that go on up in there. Shit, you know what man. I'm saying? Yeah. Certain shit you, you, like, you got to fall victim to, you got to roll with, you be like, for what? Man. You know what I'm saying? But you ain't got to roll with the punches. Right. Well, yeah. yeah, we you know we 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 all pretty much go through the same things, but it, the culture is a little different. Wow. Y'all out down the west coast, we down here in the south, but you know, you know, we as men gonna you know take the opportunity to try to do better. I'm talking about men. You know, what I'm talking about Brian. For sure, for sure, for sure. Food over there. You are gonna look sure. at that situation, man, and you are gonna think about your wife, your children, your mother. You are gonna think about your family, man, and you are gonna make a decision. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. You're going to start changing? <laughs> or you going to get caught up in that life? You're just going to swallow yeah, you up. Man. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. So we all make that conscious choice. You know what I'm saying? To do better and to be better. You feel me? Yep. But it's, Everybody it's, got it's, choices. It's and levels of degrees. Everything got its, its time, bro. You feel me? But you got to keep striving toward perfection. Just yeah, the keep positive. Yeah, you got to yeah. want it. And the positive. You got to want that shit. <laughs> That's right. Yep. Keep what we pop. smoking on? What y'all smoking on? I don't even want to mention it right now. I can't. I got, <laughs> I got something to smoke on. You feel me? <laughs> I, got a, I got a mixture of some shit right here. I'm finding my best way to smoke with that. You know what I mean? What uh, you smoking? I know y'all I'm going to call it a salad. Pops call them little, you know what I'm saying, little green salads because I got a little bit of something to this, a little bit of something to that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it's like some ga gas lotto and some and, 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 and some truffle. Yeah. Then when oh, I, go yeah, that way, yeah, that when fire, I go this way, I got a little. I, I, I put some wax up in that little shit. So later oh. on, you know what I'm saying? For a little grand finale, you know, bust a sweat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> he gonna he gonna let it leak. He gonna let the foe in leak. <laughs> <laughs> hey, tank here. Yeah. Big J always, Big J always trying to get on my five head, man. Uh, <laughs> we all got a little something. I got a little four head too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, went he, he went ski ball, so a motherfucker can't see his shit. He ain't slick. Hey, uh, <laughs> my shit's straight though. <laughs> yeah, he's straight. He, he's straight. Yeah. That's big cuz though, man. Yeah, man. So, but, um, yeah, for real, man. I can't um. Like I never, I never been to New Orleans though. But I can't, you know, we planning on coming soon, so I can't wait to get out there. Tell us some places to hit, like for a person who never been to New Orleans, the part where you at. You know what I'm saying? What's some, what's some good attractions? You know what I'm saying? I know they got some bomb food spots and all oh, that. Hell yeah, the food, man. Oh yeah, you go. You you got a, you got a mixture and uh, you got a variety of food. Now that's gonna be the best thing. But I can't recommend nowhere. In particular, right now, because we don't know what it's gonna be like. Right, yeah, right, yeah. right. Because of the situation, okay. but we still in the pandemic at the same time. At the know? same time, yeah. Mm. Take it before the pandemic. Then take it somewhere before the pandemic when everything was straight. What's shoot. a nice little spot to go to? Oh man, you gotta be mindful too, sir. Boy, I've been gone too. <laughs> So it's like I've been out of the loop, but um, I can remember like monumental places like Jeans, where you can go get your nice po boy sandwich, little old school stuff, you know, uh, fresh bread. You know what I'm saying? Get your little. It'd be the boy. jumbo shrimp, though, huh? It'd be the jumbo shrimp, huh? Jumbo shrimp. Oh, you go. You got many places in the French quarters, all kind of restaurants, bro. Yeah, man. That's yeah. It's gonna be yeah. fun. That's gonna be fun, man. So good. Yeah. If every yeah, like I said, like you said, man, we in the pandemic. And like um, for us out here, like it's a lot of restrictions and stuff, and people gotta you know gotta wear the mask indoors and outdoors. So was they pushing? Are they pushing the same kind of restrictions out there? And do yeah. they are they trying to push everybody to get vaccinated and stuff like that too? Absolutely. You know, and that's yeah. a, that's a good topic, man, because it, I'm kind of leery about that. You know what I'm saying, Jay? I don't know because they're pushing it too hard. 
You know, I understand the immunity thing, but you want you you're going through the formalities of paying people to take this vaccination. Man, I what a thing. I don't yeah. know, man. I don't yeah. know. I mean, stuff you might could correct me, bro. Pass me the knowledge. You feel me? Y'all know something. Well, shit. Share the knowledge, man. I, you know, I, you know, I, you know I, in the south. Yeah, I honestly feel this. I honestly feel the same way. This is this is my take on it, though. Cause we done talked about it a few times. I feel like I'm not against nobody that want to take the vaccine. If you feel like that's what you need to do for yourself, do it. But uh, me personally, I don't think that um, I need that. I think that it's other things that could be done to be straight. And it's it's to me, it seems like it's like they experiment on people. For instance, like the Johnson and Johnson, the things, the 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 side effects that have been happening to people with the nerve damage and all this. This is like factual stuff. I honestly right. ain't really heard too much about Pfizer and Moderna, but I heard a lot about Johnson and Johnson, but I'm just a little bit leery on that too, though. And I feel like as long as you, like when it first came out and they said before they had the vaccine, it was just like social distance and wear your mask, wash your hands and all that kind of stuff. And mm -hmm. just, if you stay kind of stay on that path, I think you'll be all right and, and take extra precautions, like trying to keep your immune system up, you know, take your vitamin D, you know what I'm saying? Take your iron, take your, your your vitamin C's and your zincs and all that kind of shit, though, to try to give your immune system that boost just in case you do come in contact with it. That'll probably help you fight it a little bit more. Because I know people that, you know what I mean, that, that uncaught it and got through it, like no symptoms or none of that shit, and got through it. I know people that done got sick a little bit. I know people that done got sick a lot and had to go to the hospital and stuff like that. So yeah, it's it's that shit is that shit is cold though. It's some it's some real shit though, but it's just mm -hmm. hard to just say, okay, shoot me up with this though, you know. No. Yeah. You know what it is? It's a it's a transformative. <laughs> you hear me? That vaccine yeah. is transformative. That word alone put, brings up a red flag for me. It's gonna yeah. change my DNA. You feel me? Yep. Come on, man. I, I ain't sure about that. Yeah, I don't, know. I don't know about that, bro. That's gonna bring complications. That's just my common knowledge telling me that. And then it's like this too. Like they they got studies saying, um, excuse me, saying like um, you can like certain side effects that you can get from taking the shot, or certain are people that have certain like diabetics or people that have certain uh, pre existing conditions, like they yeah. take the shot and something else it triggers that. Whatever they might have prior, you yeah, know what I mean. They said intensify the tenfold, Andre. And yeah, it, it, man. as you had it, it makes that intensify. Well, I have, yeah. you know, from working out, I kind of got a shoulder injury, and man, when I tell you, yeah, you can actually feel that in the air. Not that it ran through my body, but you know, I feel yeah. something since all this started. It been yeah. ailing a little more. You feel me? I got to admit. But I'm put, I'm healthy as a bull, but I, yeah. I, I you can literally feel it unless it's a multiple multiple <laughs> thing. Sure. Do That's you correct. know people? You know people out your way that got the the COVID. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It spread through the community at a rapid pace. That's where it started here for Mardi Gras. If you can re, uh, recover, uh -huh. you go back. So remember, are sorry, are most of the people surviving? Did they survive? No, I'm saying are most of the people that you know of that that that, that had the COVID, are they surviving it? Like just getting through it? I'm just like you, fam. I know people that caught it, people that passed from it. It's a community. Yeah. It's a community. It's a community. Right. 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 Can you take? Not, not really right. touch me personally, right? You know, not personally. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Like 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 with those people that you know that 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 <clears throat> that have contracted the 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 virus. And the people that I'm, I'm just just speaking of just the people who came through it, have more came through it home, or people have that that you know of that's been to the hospitals. Oh, statistically, man, they they went they they uh they actually gone to the hospitals. The hospitals tell them to go home and uh you know uh quarantine quarantine. You know what I'm saying? And then they pass through the system. They go back and get checked. And they'd be fine. You know, it's, it's transmitting like that. They're, in other words, yeah, they're, they're, they're beating it. They're getting past it. But they're still transmitting all the same. And then, like, the people, a, 
a lot of the people that's vaccinated, to me, they like the super spreaders, though. You know what I mean? Because they get comfortable. They like feel like, oh, I got the shot, so now I could go here with no mask on. I could move around. Oh, let's throw this big ass party or whatever. You know what I'm saying? The case may be and shit though. And then the you know that's when the new variant came out though. The little the Delta, Delta and that other stuff came out as people start started to get vaccinated though. Yeah, everybody you know what I'm saying? So those out. are those are them super spreaders you're talking about. And then mutated to that Delta bullshit or whatever. Yeah. You know, like yeah, and, it's, just, it's, and, and it's, just like yeah. Tang say, it's transformative. You know what I'm saying? They got the fucking vaccine and it transformed into some other shit. That's right, you did. That's what bringing all these other complications. You know what I mean? Your body not used to this, so it's transforming and is and is actually killing us. That's what's killing us, yo. Yeah. Yeah. Blaming on the illness, dude. The underlying illness, but actually, yeah. the shot that kills. Yeah. Yeah. That's personally my opinion on that. Because it's still people that that's getting the shot and that's still dying, too. And they're not really talking about that. They're just talking about the unvaccinated and getting vaccinated. So they was doing that out there, too, as far as trying to pay people to get the um, the vaccination. Yeah, BJ, they actually was, man. Yes, sir. Because they was for sure doing it in California, too. It was certain states that was doing it. It wasn't like every state, but it was certain states. That was trying to pay people to, and it was, and they was all in the inner city trying to pay people, because a lot of and people. I don't know why skeptical. people don't think about that shit. Mm-hmm. A lot of people skeptical like us, it's the same way like we talking, and how we feel about it. A lot of people feel the same way, you That's know, right. just based off the knowledge that 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 we do have and the understanding that we do have of it, you know, from shit that's reported and the shit that we finding out. But that shit is um. That shit crazy, man, because it's some real shit, but it's like a nigga ain't fucking with that vaccine. Hey, like I said, I'm going to say it one more time. For people for people that feel like that's what they want to do, uh-huh. handle your business. You know, I, I don't have no problem with that, though. But for me personally, I'm, 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 I'm not taking a vaccine. I'd rather just get tested once a week, you know, yeah. and, and do that. I have right. no problem doing that. My my surroundings, you know. Yeah, that'll be it. When when we young though, you know what I'm saying, going outside, didn't our parents like tell us like, you know what I'm saying, stay orange distance. You come within that orange distance, that's flight, you know what I'm saying? Time bar. You know what I'm saying? Keep that social distance from since we was little. You know what I'm saying? I don't know like what really changed. Right. You know what I'm saying? You don't gotta be all up in my face. <laughs> yeah. Not really, especially now, you know. Yeah, you know. Hell yeah, that shit crazy. So um like so what's your so look look we gonna we gonna lighten it up real quick. What um what's your sports teams, man? I know you a Saints fan. Oh day. I know you're a Saints fan and then basketball. Who you fuck with with the basketball? Really, I don't really have a basketball squad, bro. You know, I oh, just okay. like I love the sport. I don't have a particular team because you know I, I I do a little betting every now and then, so it ain't about who I love with that sport. You feel me? I do. I, I, I like the teams. I like different teams. So Let me what you something. All right, go I, ahead. What, go ahead. On, I gotta say something. I gotta yeah. thank you on that tank. You know what I'm saying? Because man, this dude go at it all the time about this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I fucks with basketball. I right, tell right. you all day. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with the Lakers. Right. Then when they go to football, <laughs> you said you, know you a saying? Raider it's, fan, nigga. You said and look, and, and look. But it's like, like really, you know what I'm saying? I can't really tell you too much about football, you know what I'm saying? But I like the sport, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like back, like in the early 2000s, you know what I'm saying? And before when motherfuckers was hitting each other, really. Right. Real you know what I'm saying? And I just, yeah. I just like the sport, you know what I'm saying? And it's like my family members, got a Brock on fans. I got uncles that's Raider fans. I got Rams. pop Raider fans, uncles that's mm-hmm. Ram. You know what I'm saying? So really, I go through all of those teams. You know what I'm saying? Except the Broncos. I ain't never had no Broncos shit, though. You know what I'm saying? But I just tell him, like, you know what I'm saying? I just like the sport. You know what I mean? And it's like, by you saying that, it's like, claim, yeah, I got my... Cl- so, yeah. so, so, so right now, you what you're saying right now is you don't claim no team, then. You just... No basketball uh, team? No football I'm, team. You don't claim no... Fo- no, I'm talking about Serpo. Sure. You don't claim no I, football I, team, I, right? This season, I have to own up to it because in the beginning, you know what I'm saying, I stood up and I was like, yeah, I'm going for the Raiders. Season. 
You know what I'm saying? He made me go for the Raiders. You know okay. I believe we was who, who made you go for the Raiders? Raiders. Who made you go you for the Raiders? <laughs> Big J. <laughs> oh man, but look. So who you? How you think Jameis Jameis Winston's gonna do out there, man? Um, I think he's gonna be the, the starting quarterback, and I think he's gonna take care of his business, bro. He's gonna set in after the first couple games. This is gonna be natural. You feel me? He's gonna. He gonna yeah. feel his yeah, he did good. He did good in preseason, though, with the squad. He looked it cool. Yeah. His main yeah, thing, arm, yeah, yeah, he got a hell of an arm. His main thing, his whole career has always been his, the interceptions. He throw a mm-hmm. lot, of, you know. He throw a lot, a lot of interceptions. You know well, what I mean? Well, at the time he played, he probably didn't have much playing time. But I mean, just like this saying, he he gonna build toward. He gonna work it out, man. You know what I'm saying? Every game he gonna get better and better with it. That's why uh-huh. I'm gonna hey. be hey. watching Jay. That's hey, why hey, hey, bro, serious. you got to have hope, though. I hear you. Yeah, I that defense. You. <laughs> you mind if I told you this? That defense, ah, they going to be on. Yeah, yeah. What do you think the Broncos going to do? What do you I'm think they going to land look, at this year? Look, this, I'm going to tell you like this. Our defense is going to be top five. We're going to have a top five defense. Our offense is going to be. Here, Jay? Huh? Your football squad is. The Broncos, Denver Broncos. I'm yeah, I'm a Bronco fan. Nah, he a Raider fan. Oh. Yeah, he a Raider fan. I'm a Bronco fan. Yeah, I, I, fuck, I fuck with them Broncos. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They might be like a Cinderella team. You heard me, so They might uh, be like hold, hold, like hold the Bronco? Who the Broncos? Yeah, they going to be the like them, them teams that knock you out, you know. They can, they can win or they can lose. They have a 50-50 record. Wait, 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 wait. What team? The, 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 the Raiders? No, the Broncos. Oh, no, my brother. Y'all, the, nah, send, y'all the Cinderella team. Make sure y'all don't lose that slipper, bro. Uh. <laughs> 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 hey, no, look. I'm going to tell y'all though, our defense is going to be top five. We're going to have a top five defense. Mark my words. We got this, we got this recorded. We're going to have a top five defense. Our offense, our offense going to be, we're going to be there, though. We're going to be there because we got Bridgewater at quarterback and we got some top receivers, though. We got um, Gordon at, at running back, so we we cool that running back at the running back position, and we got some motherfucking studs at every receiver position, and our tight ends is hard as a motherfucker, though. So as long as Bridgewater do his shit, we 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 going we up there though. We, five, you saying you saying top five, so you basically you saying like yeah, we not gonna win it this year. No, I'm saying that's what just, you're saying, right? No, 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 no. You know how they rate the defense in football, the defense and the offense. We are gonna have a top five defense. But what do you think we, you gonna land that as far as like you know what I'm saying championship status? We might we we might go all the way. We might go nah. all the way. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we might go all the way though. That's good optimism. I love that optimism. Oh yeah, yeah, we we go. Bad, like, yeah, yeah. We definitely gonna look. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but we definitely gonna be better than the Saints and <laughs> better than the uh, Raiders. You know what yes, I'm saying? Sir. Come on, man. Yes, Come on, yes, sir. yes, Sersky. Yes, but yeah, yes, man. Um, you saying, you know? Huh? I said yes, it's gonna be. Yeah, because I'm not sure if we play y'all this season, though. Uh, I'm going to have to look into it. Yeah, yeah, I got to look Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I don't know who we uh, – I don't know I don't know if we play y'all because the yeah. NFC – yeah, the NFC the NFC division that we play is the Cowboy, the NFC East. We play that whole division. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know um yeah, if we play off. But yeah. Yeah. That was cool though. Yeah, so this this um was definitely a dope sit down with Tank. And we definitely gonna do it again and chop it up. You know well, what I mean? Yeah. yeah, while we find our best way to smoke. And like I said, Tank is a part of the best way to smoke family, and he family, you know what I'm saying? So um tell him where to find you. Wow. Well, Sir, I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. I said, tell them where to find you, like your IG. Give them your spell. Oh, uh, yeah. You can find me on the IG. 
uh, Brady Jimmy one at you know gmail.com. That's my email on IG. Uh, Brady Jimmy one, you know. Yeah. 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 We're gonna we're gonna put it on the screen so y'all can check it out. So look, yeah. check us out at www.bestwaytosmoke.com. Check us out on Instagram at Best Way to Smoke. That's our main page. Then you can check us out at our backup page at Best Way to Smoke with an underscore at the end. Check us out on YouTube right here, the um, the Best Way to Smoke podcast. Check us out on Anchor and check us out on Spotify. Best Way to Smoke. We got some good stuff coming. Fuck with us. Big J. Right, bro, Junior, hit the like button, hey, subscribe, and tell a friend. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, yeah, that was dope. It don't really matter what I smoke out of. Shit, I'm high as fuck. I smoke because I just does. Put that vegan rap with nature's blood. Windows up when I light it up. Choke back to back. Burn OG up.